welcome to Lady CEO G. Hi, and welcome to a new edition of Lady CEO Chat with me, Anya T.M. Davis. What's up, y'all? I know. I'm fired. I know. I know. I said I was going to do a video every week. And here we are. How many months later? <laughs> Y'all know your girl be busy. I am starting to reorganize my business. I have an assistant now. How about that? How that sound? So some things will be off my plate. So I can't get here with y'all and talk. CEO talk, right? It's 2021. How y'all feeling about 2021? For me, 2020 wasn't a bad year. It was my most earning year, and I'm excited about that. I was able to um, to start four businesses during the pandemic. You guys knew about two, and two started later on in the year. Uh, I didn't have any personal friends or close family that passed away. I knew of people who did pass away. So I do understand that some people do not like 2020 because 2020 was just so crazy. But if we could just kind of move past, move past all of the things that did happen, Corona, people losing jobs, um, different situations of unsocial, civil unrest. I know it's easier said than done, but. If we can just move away from there and swift, shift, I say swift, shift our mindset, our mind just for a moment, just for a moment, we can see the good that came out of 2020. 2020, we wanted a, we wanted clear vision. We got it. Cause Corona made us sit down and be still. When we had to sit down and be still, we had a moment to really honestly truthfully be honest with ourselves if we took that moment if we took that moment did you take that moment or did you take the time to criticize everything that was going on we also had civil unrest it brought to the front forefront everything that was going on 2020 vision right we wanted it, we asked for it, and God gave it to us. I feel like he was also trying to get his people's attention. Y'all know my faith is important to me, okay? So with that, I believe that he was trying to get his people's attention to get us to act right, to do right, okay? So for 2021, what are your goals? Let's start off there. Did you make any resolutions? Don't let anybody make you feel bad for making New Year's resolutions. People, I find that there are so many people that are so unhappy. Why y'all making New Year? I'm not making New Year's resolutions. If you're not making New Year's resolution, that's cool. But why you got to put down the next person? Hmm. Anywho, for me, my, um, I don't have any um, resolutions. I am going to um, take a phrase from my girl Christian, um, the, the, or the purpose pusher, and say, I'm declaring things. I am declaring to be more organized. I am declaring to get more rest. I am declaring that my business shall grow. All of them. So with that being said, what things are you declaring this year? Do you have any affirmations that you're taking, that you're taking on, that you take on in your spirit every day? There is a affirmation. Let me tell y'all something. Fancy has been telling me about affirmations for a grown ass woman for the longest by Tony Jones. And I got on that here recently and baby changed my life. Changed my life because she was, she has this one, it's called Yes to My Coins. And in the, in the song, in the, in the spoken word, cause it's spoken word is affirmations. She said, who taught me scarcity? Who taught, who taught me these things? And I was just like, every time I hear that part, I'm like, who taught me that? Who taught me that I can't have 
I can't have um financial stability. Who taught me that? Why can't I? Why can't you? Huh? Okay. That part. But people will try to tell you what you can't do and what you can't have. I literally was in a group for black people. And a guy told me I was not. I guess because I'm a little thick. Y'all know I'm thick. Um, that I, that I, I wouldn't be taken care of. That I couldn't be taken care of. And I had to step back and say, hold up. <laughs> hold up, bro. I got my own. I don't really need somebody to take care of me. As he said, make my own money, money now. Ain't gotta be nobody wife. However, that's what I would like. But it ain't going to never be because somebody can take care of me. Now, do I need financial stability? Yes, sir. Yes, that's important. Yes. You have to be doing something for yourself. And so you even have that conversation with me. So stop letting people dictate those things for you. Stop. You can make a resolution. You can be financially stable. You can have whatever it is that you like as long as God told you that it is what it is. Because sometimes we be saying, God, God said this, and God ain't say nothing. Y'all sitting up here lying on God, and he told you no, but because that's what you want. Don't do that. Don't do that no more. So, resolutions. What are the things that you'd like to do? I need to get back on my eating better kick. I was working out and I was eating a whole lot better. I need to get back on that. I know better. I know better. So, as a CEO, yes, you're taking care of your business. However, you need to take care of this business. Self-care is important. Self-care is important. I am very heavy on the self-care. Massages every week, medical massages, because I have a slip disc in my back from a, um, a car accident. Therapy every other week. And I take out time just to breathe. Sorry, just to breathe. I take out time from life. I would turn off my phone. Mm -hmm. self-care is saying turn off my phone self-care is playing my little games as I didn't find on my phone one of them is project makeover and the other is I don't even know the name of the game I can't even tell you the name of the game only thing I know is I clear up a mess I clear up mess that's in there it's a pile of mess and I just clear it up by matching it it's some kind of matching game that is self-care. Take time off. Take time off. I am known for taking a day off from Bank of America for mental health. Sometimes you need that for your mental, a mental health day, because that's the day that I can have a day off from both of my jobs. Why do I have two jobs? I'm going to talk about that in one of, um, one of the videos. Why do I have um, two jobs and no investors? Because I don't want to have to pay them back. <laughs> Duh. I'd rather work my butt off and build my business than to have to pay someone back. Especially when I don't have a brick and mortar business. That part. So, welcome to the new year 2021 with your girl. Yes. And I hope to um, be more consistent with my videos this, this year. All right. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Maybe somebody else needs to get their mind right. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let's get social. This has been a Lady CEO production.